Ladies and gentlemen, with the Voyager lost in the Badlands for a year, we have built a new ship, a replacement. What you are looking at here is the USS Prometheus. Multi-vector assault, modulating phaser cannons, biphasic torpedoes. It has been designed to fight the Borg. We believe the Prometheus is ready to engage. Are you saying the Prometheus can take on a Borg cube by itself? That's exactly what I'm saying. The Prometheus is one bad ship. A beautiful piece of technology indeed. My compliments to the Corps of Engineers. Tell me, Admiral, has the ship been field tested? Against a Borg cube? No, of course not. Right now, Captain Corvus and his crew are on their way to Deep Space Nine. Their mission? To search for Voyager and lay any chance of them being found to rest. You don't expect them to be found? In a way, I don't want them to be found. Not a trace. That trace would tell us that they've been destroyed in the Badlands. Regardless, they are to question every system in the Quadrant. No stone is to be left unturned. I want that ship found, Admiral. We cannot scan for the Voyager outside of the energy field. Can the ship handle the plasma storm? That's what the biphasic shielding is for. If we find even part of a nacelle, we'll know what happened, won't we? That would be the logical conclusion. But until that nacelle is found, we're operating as if Voyager is missing or out of communication range. So reassuring of you, Admiral. Yes, it is, but those people deserve no less. Agreed. Now I need to bring us up to speed on the situation near the Badlands. Now, currently two Starfleet officers from the Prometheus are meeting with an individual called Raven. Now she says she was a captive of the Marquis, and she also appears to be a highly trained telepath. Now this is a dangerous mission. If what she says is true, and we have no reason to suspect otherwise, she single-handedly wiped out the entire population of the Maquis outpost. She knows who we are. She's well-versed on Starfleet and the Cardassians. She was genetically altered to be a weapon. According to her, the Maquis were going to drop her off on Cardassia. Let's be clear, Admirals. A Maki telepath could be problematic at the least were she brought back here to Earth. We could be opening ourselves to an attack, one we are not prepared for. Now that might be true, but also what is equally true is that she may be very valuable to the Federation. She may have information about the Maki or the Cardassians that could help her. And you think she'd be cooperative? She could be a ticking time bomb! I agree. If she were to simply walk through Starfleet headquarters... They abused her, and she retaliated. She gained access to a control room, sealed herself in, and then she released the airlocks. How many Maki were killed? According to Raven, dozens. we'll find when we get there. According to headquarters, a scared young girl and dozens of dead Maki. Are we concerned at all with her killing us? Of course. That's why they're sending a Vulcan to assess the situation. Are you gonna mind meld with her? It might not be necessary if her talents are as formidable as we surmise. Will she know where we're keeping the ship? Most likely. Any chance we'll be able to block our thoughts from her? None whatsoever. Oh, I don't know whether to feel appreciated or expendable. Perhaps both. That's not very reassuring. It's not meant to be. I really thought it was a good idea to send two female crewmen to do this. It will be much less intimidating for Raven. Raven? That's what she calls herself. I wonder why. It's what her captors called her. She says she is unable to remember any other name.
You are here from the Federation. You're talking right into my mind. You were told who I am and what I did. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so clear. It's like you're talking right into my ear. <laughs> you will not need the detonation device. The detonation device? A precaution. That you didn't think I needed to know about? It would have been a greater risk. Yeah, that's what I thought. They sent a Vulcan to assess me. It was deemed appropriate, but I assure you, we wish you no harm, and I do not wish to frighten you. I can tell you are sincere. I will go with you. I'm wondering, Raven, do you ever speak with your vocal cords? I do not. Are you ready to depart? I am. Shuttle Armstrong to Prometheus. Go ahead, Armstrong. Prepare to transport 3 to transporter room 1, then tractor Armstrong into docking bay 3. Acknowledge. Awaiting helm release. Greetings, Raven. I'm Captain James Corbus. Welcome aboard Prometheus. Thank you, Captain. It's a pleasure to meet you and your crew. I understand you're aware of the United Federation of Planets. And that the Maquis are not a part of it. Well, now that is correct. The Federation considers the Maquis outlaws. But there are those who do support their cause. I hope you will allow us to confirm your story. I will allow that. I have nothing to hide. Thank you. But before that happens, I wonder if there's a way you could feed me. Yes, of course. Commander Vero can show you to the mess hall. We've been sent not only to help you, but to determine if you really are dangerous. I am dangerous, but I have been trained not to probe mines without permission. Unless, of course, you're a Cardassian. Speaking with you telepathically is not the same as reading your mind, from my perspective. Did you just read my mind? No, Captain Corvus. But I can't help but feel an uneasiness in the area. Forgive me, Raven, but I tend to err on the side of caution. I agree. I can't help feeling that you were worried I might do harm to your crew. Thank you for that insight. We're hoping to learn more about your abilities, and the extent of them. Extent? But you understand. You won't be forced or asked to do anything you don't want to do. I understand. Captain Corvus, you are receiving a priority transmission. Acknowledged. Pipe it through a secure channel into my ready room. But first, food. Thank you, Captain. Computer, access incoming transmission for Captain James Corvus. Authorization code required. Authorization, Corvus, 7737. Accepted. Good to see you again, James. You as well, Admiral. How can I be of assistance? Admiral Paris is on the channel as well. Sounds important. Captain, we've received intelligence from a credible source in the SETI system regarding the whereabouts of the Voyager. We want you to investigate the situation. Of course, Admiral. How can we be of assistance? There's something that no one really knows, Captain. Janeway decided to add one more crew member to the ship before departing after the Marquis. My son. Tom Paris. Tom was previously incarcerated prior to this mission, this assignment, and you can understand that when the ship disappeared, more than one inquiry was made about this decision. Captain, we need to know how things are progressing with Raven. Is she a threat to us? It's too soon to tell, sir, but in the short time that Raven's been on the ship, 
She's been very cooperative, and she's yet to force herself into anyone's thoughts. I'll get to the point, Captain. We want you to find out if Raven can indeed determine the credibility of the intel. You want her to read their mind? His mind. His name is Braxton. He's a trader in the area, and he's been known to acquire some very interesting items. I'll be honest with you, James. It seems far-fetched. But we owe it to Captain Janeway and the rest of the crew to investigate every possible avenue. Yes, well, with all due respect, Admiral, may I remind you that Raven is not a member of this crew. She's a guest on our ship. Besides, I can have Commander Varro accomplish the same task just as easily. I expect regular updates, Captain. Headquarters out. Whatever it takes, Captain. Whatever it takes. Aye, sir. My turn now, Captain. Come in. There's no sneaking up on you, is there? I hope you find your quarters suitable. After being caged for as long as I can remember, Captain, this space feels perfect. Not only is it safe and warm, it's all mine, just as I saw it. Just as you saw it? What do you mean? But I'm sure you didn't come here just to talk about my quarters. No, not really. I was ordered by my superiors to ask for your help in solving a mystery. A mystery? I don't understand. You see, 15 months ago, the Federation starship USS Voyager disappeared in the Badlands while pursuing a Maquis ship. Our current mission is a last chance effort to find that ship and her crew. I'm sorry, Captain, but I don't know anything about your ship. There was never any open talk or stray thought about it at the outpost. Well, that's not surprising. Voyager was on a classified mission. The ship it was pursuing also disappeared, along with the Federation operatives on board. Perhaps a case of mutual destruction? Perhaps. But we're still grieving the loss and the enormous void that was left behind. We seek answers. We seek closure. Like you, Captain. I too have a void I cannot fill. I have no memory of anything about my life before the Maquis. Sometimes, the emptiness makes me cry. I need to help you find your ship. This Voyager, I have a deep sense that answers to my questions lie ahead. About your past? About who you are? Alright, we recently received credible information that someone has knowledge about Voyager. We're currently en route to intercept their ship. His ship. What did you say? You're en route to intercept his ship. Bruce Braxton? How did you know that unless you read my thoughts? I have to show you something, if you'll allow me. Raven, where are we? I've brought you inside my vision. Do you know this place? No. no. Why, Why do you, you ask? ask? My god, it's, it's us. us. Why are you kneeling over a Borg drone? So that's what the Borg looked like. One of my captors used to call me his little Borg queen. I never knew what it meant, but always found it offensive. He was the first to die. I'll make sure you have access to our files about the Borg. They're a powerful and horrific foe.
Braxton is here with us, but why? I don't know, Captain, but this is why I chose to come to Prometheus. To get to this place where I know I will find answers for the both of us. Of course. You saw your orders. You knew Braxton's name. You brought me into your vision. You're a precog. A precog? Yes. You have an ability. A psychic ability to perceive future events. True. So, Captain, will you let me help? Well, it seems we're fated to work together. The idea, Raven, is not to let him know what we're after. I understand. Bruce, there's a starship heading towards us at Warp 9. Warp 9? They must be in a hurry. It looks like a Federation vessel. Blast it! We better hide the cargo. There's an M-class planet nearby. How long until they reach us? Approximately two hours. There's plenty of time. We'll hide most of the really good stuff down there. We can't be empty though, or they'll get suspicious. I wonder how they know about this ship, and how do they know about our location? That doesn't bother me. I'm famous in this region. What bothers me is what they want. I've told the Federation I've got nothing to do with the Maquis, other than trading some things with them. A lot of things. Like a pulse cannon? They don't need to know about that. Vessel. What is it? A small freighter. Two life signs. Shielded. I'm not able to scan their cargo bay. Open a hailing frequency, Lieutenant. Attention, freighter. This is Captain James Corvus of the Federation Starship Prometheus. We are seeking Captain Braxton, and I wish to speak with him. Looks like you found him, Captain. You can call me Braxton. I don't consider myself a captain, just a pilot. What would you like to talk about? We're seeking information. May we transport you onto our ship? You're not planning on arresting me for some crime I'm unaware of, are you? No, not today. As I said, we only wish to speak with you. Captain, you may transport me and my friend to your ship. I hope you do not wish to detain us for longer than is needed. We've no plans to detain you. Give me three minutes to de-energize my engines, Captain. Warp 4 takes a lot out of her. Understood. Corvus out. Transporter room. There's a ship 1,000 meters ahead. In three minutes, beam its two occupants aboard, and then have security escort them to conference room 4. Wait here for now, Raven. Understood. Mr. Braxton, please forgive our sudden arrival and request. I can't imagine what this is about. Well, let me get to the brass tacks. A Federation starship, the USS Voyager, disappeared near the Badlands pursuing a Maquis ship. You see, the thing is, we have information that you, Captain Braxton of the Desert Swan, has personal knowledge about Voyager. So what we want to know is, what do you know about Voyager? And perhaps the ship it was pursuing. I'm afraid you've been given false information, Captain. I don't know the whereabouts of the Voyager, or the Maquis ship. Are you sure? Yes. He's hiding something. 
Commander Vero. Play back the communique. Communique Stardate 49445.72. SETI Delta 2. Fueling Station Mosul. Braxton says he knows. Right, Braxton? I know where that Voyager ship went. And when I have time, I'm going to take the parts and sell it on the black market. Captain, I... Yes? I was lying. I was trying to impress a dealer. You know how it goes. If you can establish a name for yourself, you can get better traction. I'm not proud of it. People knew the Voyager was in the area. They followed the Maquis ship into the Badlands. From what I hear. It would be very helpful if you could remember who gave you that information. And who told you that Voyager went into the Badlands? Security team down there. Security to cargo bay one. This is a level five. Level five? Modulated phasers required. Oh no, wait. You're gonna vaporize my cargo. Only if it twitches. Captain, we've, we've also, also discovered, discovered a single Borg signature, signature on the surface of a small M class planet. Oh crap. That's my cargo. You can't have it. Braxton, you're going to come with me to that planet to see what's left of your cargo. And if it's dangerous, it's going to be vaporized or quarantined. Son of a... All hands, yellow alert. Dr. Lennar, Alpha Security Team, report to transporter room two, on the double. Holy crap. Maybe not alive by your means, Braxton. Our technology is more advanced than you. Oh, man. I'd only give it a few more seconds. Not much more. Corvus to Prometheus. Beam down Raven immediately. Raven, do you think you can communicate with a drone? Wait, 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 Raven, wait, 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 I know what you want. 
Do you know what happened? You know what happened? You know what happened? You know what happened? I wasn't sure. But I am now. There was this, a wave of temporal energy. And then the ship's here. This is strange. It doesn't feel real. It's real. But you are on the edge. The edge. The edge. The edge. The edge of what? The edge of what? The edge of what? The edge of what? Raven. Your mom. She's alive. Raven. Raven, are you alright? Wait, where? 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 Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Were you able to find out anything about Voyager? I'm sorry, Captain. They're gone. I know I would be on the ship. Who sent you? Seven to Captain Janeway. <laughs>